All right, everybody, it's uh, Bad Jack JW. A little bit of a range report for you. Uh, I took the, finally took the, uh, the new 2021 Python out to the, to the range. And uh, this one here is the three inch uh, variation of it. So they originally came out with the six, the four, and then this is the three. These uh, were originally were introduced in 2020, which I was really excited to actually uh, check them out and get them out there. And I finally, uh, after all this time of owning it and uh, having it, fondling it, uh, checking it out and all that, uh, I was, you know, and I've been really uh, satisfied with it. And one of the really cool things was the fact that uh, I finally got to get a chance to own a three inch barreled one because as you know the originals if you're looking at a three inch barrel it's just uh, it's some serious cash so this is really cool I think it's awesome that Colt is uh, actually producing these things out again and uh, for us to get our hands on these things and right around the MSRP of like the $1,400 marker and so now that things have actually calmed down a little bit and you can actually obtain these things for the MSRP price I remember when they first came out and hit the market these things were exceeding the price of the original Originals. I mean that is just crazy. So I've actually had this thing for months and months, uh, six or more longer <laughs> months, and I know it's like I can't believe I have waited this long to actually take it to the range. But we actually, uh, me and a good buddy of mine, we actually took it out to the range, uh, the indoor range locally right down in town, and I actually took some shells down there and fired it. And I gotta say, uh, you know what? It was just really nice. It was smooth. Um, it just it handled really well. It felt like a, a really durable revolver. Um, I used to have an old vintage one that uh, was uh, actually really an, an older one I had. And, uh, you know, and that was great. It shot really well. It shot really accurate. But I got to say that, you know, uh, the action and everything, um, these things may not be quite as smooth as the original, original ones. But they are really up on, uh, on par. I mean, they are really close. Uh, they're really durable. I'm really thrilled about it. I think it was definitely uh, something that I'm going to enjoy shooting a lot more. I'm glad I got it. Uh, I'm looking to hold on to it for now. Uh, definitely is going to be in the collection for a little while. I think it's really a neat item. So again, you know, they're going through the whole lineup. You know, they got the Cobras, the King Cobra. Now they got the Python and then obviously the Anaconda. I hope they continue going with this. I really do. I'm really thrilled that they're doing this. So anyway, uh, that, a little bit of a range review and uh, or just a kind of an after report, if you will, that I've had it. All of you that have been you know, tuned into the channel, subscribing and everything like that, you've seen the videos on it. But there it is. Um, yeah, I got to say it was... Uh, it was really uh, awesome to be able to fire it. Really smooth, and I, of course I shot mostly 38 specials with it. We shot some warmer stuff with it, and it just handled really well. Uh, it just was smooth. So anyway, there you go. Thanks for watching.